Welcome guys to another video of Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and for many of you you might not be aware of this series or this um, thing I'm about to do but way back in the day during Black Ops 2 so about three years ago I used to do the history of and I didn't get far because I just kind of didn't feel like doing it it was easier for me to do live commentaries and stuff of that nature but you know what why not bring why not polish it off and start it again um i think you guys might enjoy this and you might enjoy this series so we'll do it so this series will explore the guns within the game and also look at different aspects within the game not just guns it's not limited to that we'll also be looking at you know grenades um even specialists we'll look at some of the specialists we'll even look at some of we'll look at a variety of things we'll even look at the history of call of duty the history of treyarch the history of different things um sadly enough i didn't start this during um veterans day but it would have been really nice to do the history of veterans day and thank you for all those who've served you don't need to thank those who've served just on veterans day you could thank them a lot they deserve it so not just on veterans day but thank you guys for your service so we will look at real aspects of whatever we're exploring in real life. So for today, we are doing the Weevil. As you could see, I have the Weevil. So we will be looking at the real life Weevil and going from there. And I almost failed there, guys. But luckily, he didn't notice. Luckily, I say that. All right. So and we'll... Uh, so we're basically going to break down of what how it got created. We'll look at some of the uses of, for in this case, the gun. Then we'll look at conflicts it has been in. And lastly, we'll explore why it's in the game. Hope you guys enjoy the video series and hope you find it entertaining. So let's get started on the history of the Weevil. Okay, so first let's take care of stats within the game. We'll be exploring statistical measures within the game. So you guys might enjoy this, might not. Um, for some of you, it's very enjoyable. For others, it might not be. But let's start. Stats first. It is it is a submachine gun with a capacity of 50 rounds. If you get extended mags, it turns into 60 367 don't quote me on it it's one of those two it gets unlocked at level four it is an automatic smg that deals 10 through 20 damage varies on the range so it could be anywhere from a four shot to a 10 shot kill but usually it drops at the distance it drops off it's not really viable for the 10 shots so it'll be interesting to see it has a 1.1 head multiplier uh, it is modeled after the P90 SMG and PDW-57. So PDW means personal defense weapon 57. So that is what that means in real life. Uh, this is the first time it's appeared in Call of Duty as the Weevil. So we've seen the P90 before and we've got very different variations of it. This is Call of Duty's variation of the Weevil but or of the P90 and it is the Weevil here. So next, we will move on to the history of the Weevil. Since it's based in the future, we must look at the P90 SMG now. So we can't really say how the gun's going to get designed in the future, but they obviously did their homework and they've talked to some gun experts and the possibility of it being within the future. So let's look at the history. It was created by NATO, the North American Trade Organization, which is also strategic defense, has a military aspect created by NATO and service began in 1991 in response to a few things. So its service began in 1991, but we'll talk about the development of it later. It was designed to be compact and powerful for vehicle crews, support personnel, special forces, and counterterrorism. So basically small quarters, that type of stuff, you know, 
things that were it wouldn't take up too much room for like um vehicle crews so that like let's say they get ambushed or something happens to where they're gonna need to be on patrol real fast that they could get out use it and hopefully not abuse it but let's move on also special forces like i said compact within um close quarters combat and counterterrorism. obviously close quarters combat again so let's go on it's designed by the fn company in accordance with it is also in accordance with the fn and 57 pistol so it the original p90 was created to have two components to it which was the p90 along with the 57 pistol you guys might remember the 57 pistol from black ops 2 it was one of the second i think it was the first thing you unlocked there too so that's very interesting and some of you guys might find that interesting also so the development started for this type of weapon back in 86 1986 and it finished in 1990 hence the 90 for the p90 so it finally got developed it started development in 86 the complete product finished in 90 and that's where they got the 90 for the p90 and the manufacturing started in 91 and it didn't get completed till 93 um, its ammo is a 5.7 times 28 millimeter ammunition the ammunition actually had to be shortened just so it could work with this gun now it's still the same amount of grains and all that it's the same bullet type also it just needed to be shortened and more compact for this weapon so it's in it's interesting to see that they actually went out and changed the actual ammunition just for this gun and remember that 5.7 is a nato round so they had the chance to do that it is an ambidextrous gun so that means it you could be right-handed or left-handed it doesn't matter you'll still be able to use it perfectly without any hesitation without anything feeling bad or anything like that you'll be able to use it well it's used by over 40 countries some of them are austria brazil canada france poland and of and the u.s within our special forces and even law enforcement so it's through our whole through the majority of the government within the u.s and I'm saying the U.S. because I am from the U.S., so when I'm talking about this, that, um, that's what I mean by that. Um, so where has it seen service? Next, which would be the Mexican drug war, the Gulf War, the Afghanistan war. And when I'm talking about the Mexican drug war, I'm talking about the one dealing with uh, Mexico uh, recently back in start of 2009. That's what I mean by the Mexican drug war. The Gulf War, Afghanistan War, Iraq War, Libyan Civil War, and there are many other wars and conflicts. This is just a highlight of those that it's actually been in service with. So nothing too special, just like that. So why would it be in the game? Well, with the ri rising of close quarters combat and the need to do room clearing, this leaves a huge gap for the weevil to take place and shine so basically the weevils up for good for close quarter combat and clearing spaces and clearing rooms it's not really good at long distance and the majority of combat is becoming very close distance now to the point to where it's easier to have a close distance fight than it is and even take this map for example see this down chapter it would be perfect because Either the pilot or some member of the crew would be in there and more than likely have the P90 because it's easy to use. And most of the time when you're in a dogfight in the real world, it's going to be close quarters. So they needed that close quarters combat weapon. And remember, it's personal defense weapon. That was the main target for it. So it originally was created to help defend people and help defend those crews and those special forces that they needed in order to have this all right guys so we'll wrap up this video up sometime soon i hope you enjoyed this leave a comment tell me how i could get better um please leave a comment saying what i should do what i should do better all that stuff help critique me on these videos and who knows maybe i'll take your opinion into consideration if i think it's good and might just add it 
into the video all right guys so till next time please leave a like and if you're new around here please check out some other videos and if you like what you see then feel free to subscribe thanks guys peace